This is the Music History Today podcast for August 28th. On today's show, historic events inspire music and the MTV Video Music Awards take center stage. First up, though, on this date in 1931, the Lewis Russell Orchestra recorded the song, You Rascal You. In 1949, Paul Robeson was prevented from singing in upstate New York because of a riot. In 1953, Ella Fitzgerald divorced bass player Ray Brown. In 1955, the event that inspired Bob Dylan's song, The Death of Emmett Till, and Emmylou Harris's song, My Name is Emmett Till, and also inspired the civil rights movement, happened when 14-year-old Emmett Till was murdered by two white men after a woman said that Emmett whistled at her. The woman later in life admitted that Emmett never whistled at her, but she never apologized for claiming that he did. In 1962, Tony Sheridan and the Beat Brothers recorded the song, Yaya. In 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech during the March on Washington. Peter, Paul, and Mary performed Bob Dylan's song Blowing in the Wind during the protest. In 1964, Bob Dylan introduced the Beatles to smoking pot, or so the legend goes. In 1965, Bob Dylan's fans, still upset about him switching from acoustic guitar to electric guitar, booed him during a concert in New York City. Bob also played his song Desolation Row for the first time at that concert. Also in 1965, the Rolling Stones signed their record deal with Decca Records. In 1968, the Beatles began recording their song Dear Prudence. Also on that same day, in 1968, Chicago police beat up protesters at the Democratic National Convention who were there to protest the Vietnam War. The event inspired songs by The Doors, Chicago, and Graham Nash. In 1998, the movie Why Do Fools Fall in Love about singer Frankie Lyman premiered in movie theaters. And also on that same day, the movie about famed New York City disco Studio 54, simply called 54, premiered in movie theaters. In 2009, Amy Winehouse and husband Blake Fielder Civil divorced. And also on that same day, after many fights between the Gallagher brothers, the band Oasis finally broke up as well. In 2009 as well, it was a day of breakups apparently as Doug Fink also left the group Noah and the Whale. In 2017, the group Golden Child was formed. And in 2018, Aretha Franklin lay in state at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History in her hometown of Detroit, Michigan. In classical music, in 1850, Richard Wagner premiered his opera, Lohengrin. And in 1999, the Philip Glass Symphony No. 5 premiered. In theater, in 1922, the musical The Gingham Girl opened on Broadway. In 1939, the musical George White's Scandals opened on Broadway. In 1953, the musical Me and Juliet opened on Broadway. And in 1982, the musical Sugar Babies closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on August 28th, in 2003, the famous Britney Madonna Christina kiss happened during the MTV Video Music Awards. Also, Missy Elliott and Beyonce were among the winners at that ceremony. In 2011, the MTV Video Music Awards took place with Katy Perry, Justin Bieber, and Lady Gaga being the big winners that year. There was also a moment during the award ceremonies when Beyonce strategically revealed that she was pregnant with Blue Ivy, her soon-to-be daughter. In 2016, Beyonce's video Formation was the big winner at the MTV Video Music Awards. Albums that were released in the UK on August 28th include in 1983 when the Moody Blues released The Present and in 2006 Iron Maiden released A Matter of Life and Death. Meanwhile, in America, in 1967, Merle Haggard released Branded Man. In 1972, Rick Springfield released Beginnings. In 1973, Marvin Gaye released Let's Get It On. In 1974, Mike Oldfield released Hergis Ridge. In 1975, Michael Jackson released The Best of Michael Jackson. 
1978, Devo released Are We Not Men? We Are Devo. In 1984, Stevie Wonder released The Woman in Red soundtrack. In 1989, the Beach Boys released Still Cruisin'. In 1995, Morrissey released Southpaw Grammar. In 2000, Robbie Williams released Swing When You're Winning. In 2001, the album No More Drama was released by Mary J. Blige. In 2001, same day, American Head Charge released The War of Art. And also on that same day, Cool and the Gang released Gangland. In 2007, The Scorpions released Humanity, Hour One, and Three Dog Night released Super Hits Live. In 2012, Triumph released Live at Sweden Rock Festival and Wild Nothing released Nocturne. In 2015, Motorhead released Bad Magic. And in 2020, Katy Perry released Smile. Singles that were released on August 28th in the UK include in 1959 when Buddy Holly released Peggy Sue Got Married. In 1964, Jerry and the Pacemakers released It's Gonna Be Alright and The Supremes released Where Did Our Love Go? In 1970, Sha Na Na released Little Darlin'. In 1990, the Cocktoo Twins released Ice Blink Luck. And in 2008, ACDC released Rock and Roll Train. Meanwhile, in America, in 1964, The Miracles released That's What Love Is Made Of. In 1970, The Jackson 5 released I'll Be There, and Laura Nero released Up On The Roof. In 1973, The Rolling Stones released Angie. In 1975, Aerosmith released Walk This Way. In 1988, Metallica released Harvester of Sorrow. In 1997, Michael Jackson released Stranger in Moscow. In 2006, Pearl Jam released Life Wasted. And in 2015, Justin Bieber released What Do You Mean? Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 28th include country music superstar Shania Twain, country music singer Leanne Rimes, Florence Welsh of Florence and the Machine, jazz vocalist Cecile, Johnny Gilbert of Till Death Do We Part, singer Bazzy, Country music singer Jake Owen, country music singer Billy Grammer, singer and actor Donald O'Connor, actor-musician of Tenacious D, Mr. Jack Black, Wayne Osmond of the Osmond Brothers, Daniel Serafin of Chicago, Dave Lubeck of Molly Hatchet, Martin Lamble of Fairport Convention, Honey Lantry of the Honeycombs, singer and actor David Soule, Ken Andrew of Middle of the Road, John Perkins of The Crew Cuts, DJ Assault, Alfonso Herrera of RBD, Clem Catani of Johnny Kidd and the Pirates, and also the group The Tornadoes, Joe Osborne of The Wrecking Crew, Hugh Cornwell of The Stranglers, drummer Dennis Davis, jazz musician Ernie Fields, composer and poet Ivor Gurney, jazz singer Cheryl Porter, Singer Cassidy Pope, rapper Lil Ryan, rapper TJX6, drummer John Stanley Marshall of the group Nucleus, singer and actress Kim Appleby of Mel and Kim, singer Cove Reber of Saracen, the creator of Ladysmith Black Mombazu, the vocal group, Joseph Shabalala, Songwriter Ivy Joe Hunter, band leader Phil Tate, drummer Phil Seaman of Ginger Baker's Air Force, and trumpet player Roland Greenberg. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 28th include composer Johann Dillinger, who passed away in 1647 at the age of 53. Composer Johann Schobert passed away after eating poisonous mushrooms, of all things, in 1767 at the age of 32. 
Composer Julius Hopp passed away in 1885 at the age of 66. Composer August Lebitsky passed away in 1903 at the age of 70. Composer Anatoly Leodov passed away in 1914 at the age of 59. Jazz saxophonist Bob Gordon passed away in an auto accident in 1955 at the age of 27. Composer Nikolai Golovanov passed away in 1958 at the age of 67. Composer Borislav Martinu passed away in 1959 at the age of 68. Composer Anton Lahovic passed away in 1960 at the age of 81. Music producer Guy Stevens passed away from a drug overdose in 1981 at the age of 38. Opera singer Nini de Boel passed away in 1982 at the age of 84. Singer and actress Hazel Dawn passed away in 1988 at the age of 98. Pianist Pamela Harrison passed away in 1990 at the age of 74. Singer Vince Taylor passed away in 1991 at the age of 52. Guitarist Peter DeCourt of the group Betty Goes Green passed away in 1994 at the age of 25. Composer Alfonso Letelier passed away in 1994 at the age of 88. DJ AM passed away from an accidental drug overdose in 2009 at the age of 36. Songwriter George Green passed away from cancer in 2011 at the age of 59. Composer Rob Dubois passed away in 2013 at the age of 79. Bassist Glenn Cornick of the group Jethro Tull from 1967 to 1970 and also of the group Wild Turkey passed away from heart issues in 2014 at the age of 67. Singer Juan Gabriel passed away in 2016 at the age of 66, and singer Melissa Bell of the group Soul to Soul passed away in 2017 at the age of 53. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 29th, when in 1976, the Rock Against Racism movement started. <laughs> 